Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I have an easy fold uh, pocket project to show you so you could stuff some really fun goodies uh, if you wanted to use this sort of particular project for happy mailing. Um, you could also use this little project if you are wanting to use it for little favours, for treats or little party favours. Uh, just another little simple project for you. But before I want to show you the... Um, how how to make one of these i'm thinking of doing a, a series a video a five day series video and sharing with you uh, five projects uh, for in for five days in under five minutes and hopefully i can do these little projects without a scoreboard so i thought i'd start with this one first um, and use this as my series one for the first day and a project that you can make in under five minutes and I'm also going to um, do a live stream video. Well, I'm trying to attempt to do one. I'm in the process of trying to work out how to uh, to work it out on the um, on my laptop. Um, so if you do see me pop up sometimes during the week with a live stream, it is just a test. But definitely head over and say hello. I just want to see if it will work. And then if it does, I will schedule a date where... I'd love to be able to chat with you guys on my live stream if you have any questions and hopefully I'll be answer uh, some of the questions for you. So um, I'm looking forward to giving that a go. I did do one a while back, but then I've completely forgotten how to um, to work it again. So I thought I'll do another live stream as I'd love to be able to chat with um, all of you guys. But let's have a look at this really easy project. And this is it here. It's just a simple uh, fold. Um, it's got a lot of fun goodies in here. As you can see, I have packed it with a few stuff. And it's a really tiny pocket. But you can make this with any size uh, you want. And um, you don't need anything, uh, any fancy dies or anything like that to make it. And But I did use a die with one of them. But let's just have a look at this one first. So what I've got in here, um, I have on the front here an embellishment that I've made. Um, and I used some paper straws to add dimension and to make it more chunky. Uh, I did just post one in my stories on my Instagram with some of these little embellies. And on the front here, there's a little side, little tuck pocket. And I've got this cute little mini, little heart shape, uh, mini flip book, a little uh, page booklet. And it's so cute. It's really, really tiny. I did use a heart punch to make this. And I'll just show the inside. So I've just got a little uh, strip here to close the little flip book. And then I just embellished the front. And then on the inside, I've got a cute little teeny, teeny, tiny envelope. There's a couple of little punched out hearts in there. So today is Valentine's Day here in Australia. So it just so happens I've made this cute little heart flip book. And being today is Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to everyone. And then this is the next one. I left that blank. And then I've got here another little envelope. I don't have anything in that one. And then that's just the back. And then it just slides back behind the little heart that I've got here. Just to keep it closed. Then I add some little dangles here. Just to give it a little bit more decoration to the little flip book. Just a little addition. And then on the inside of the actual pocket, I've got an embellishment that I made with a postage stamp die. I will put the link down below to the uh, stamp die because I did show this on another video and I did have a few wanting to know where to get this die from. And I'll put the link down below if I can find it. And then I've got in here as well a little mini uh, pocket flip as well. I just simply embellished the front and then embellish the inside. And then there's a little pocket here with a couple of tags. And this was easily to make. I just used a, a six by six paper. I cut it at two inches. And then I just did um, like a three fold and folded one over and punched a little thumb notch and created a little pocket and just glued the side. And then this side just closes over. It's just a little simple interactive pocket flip to put inside. And then I've also got another mini envelope in here and a little coin envelope that I've made. And then I've got a little resin flower clip 
also just to decorate the pocket and just another little gift if you wanted to give this and then they can use this to bookmark a page or to use in a junk journal and this is how the pocket looks like so it's nice and small so i did create a little tuck spot in the back here sorry in the front and there is another tuck spot here at the back here as well but I decided to just use the one only and then I just placed this cute little uh, dimensional embellishment that I made and that's how the pocket looks like and I'll just show a few more that I made and then I'm going to show you how I assembled and easily it is to put a little pocket like this together and then I'll also show you how I put this together as well I'll just put these back so all you need um, I used these circle punches these ones are two and a half inch circle and this is a two and three eighth of an inch scallop circle and these were by Stampin' Up if you don't have a circle punch um, you can just cut a template of a circle shape so the bigger your circle is uh, the bigger your pocket is going to be so these are some of the other ones that i made these ones were the ones that i made with the with these sizes so that's one of them and then i made another one so the pocket doesn't look big but it does hold a few little teeny stuff and then these ones here are the scallop circles <clears throat> And then I also, <clears throat> excuse me, I made larger circle, um, using larger circle dies. If you do have a uh, die shape, these are the larger size that I used. I like the way that they have these little scallop uh, decorations, so it just makes the little pocket more fun and more interesting. Um, if you don't have a die, I have these in my shop. Um, the, I cut some random prints with using these die circle shapes so i do have these i also have these shapes as well in my shop as well um, you get a random six or eight printed um, shaped circles but um, they're already available in my shop if you haven't got those sizes but you can just use a circle template and then just cut around it and then i also made the um, embellishments i made these as well just to show you before I do the projects so I did make these cute little embellishments and I did raise them with some uh, paper straws just to add dimension and chunkiness to the um, paper layering and then this is another one just use all my little uh, bits and pieces of scrap papers and some of uh, ephemeris to just layer the embellishment so just another way you can use your paper straws so that's those so these are little pockets are so easy you just need to punch out or cut out or die cut two circles I'm using two different papers and then I just fold it in half and then I'm going to fold this one in half as well and I'm also going to show you another way you could use these little pockets for a different um, as another different idea for you as well so that's all you need to do and then you just need to bring them and overlap them together like that until you're happy with how you would like your pocket to the opening to be and I just do that and then I open one side I just check if my glue hasn't dried up on me <clears throat> I'll just fix that up again so once you're happy with where you like to place your circles I just open one side and I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue just only half and going all the way down that's just so I can have that little tuck spot if you don't want the tuck spot you can just um, glue all the way if you like so then I just press that down And then I just turn it over and do the same to the other side. Um, I might just close up one side because I'm only going to 
use the one flap as the tuck spot and that closes that in and that's pretty much all there is to that so easy you create a nice little fun pocket you can add some little um, shredded paper on the inside and add some little lollies candies and use them for little party favors you can add some strips of paper and create a little basket so you could do that as well so that's that one done and then um, I'm going to show you another way you can use these little pockets so that's how to make the pockets so the bigger your circle the bigger your pocket uh, will be but another way you could use the this same way um, you can make them into little tuck spots so this is a tag for example you can create another little smaller size with smaller circle shapes and then you can just tuck it in like that and then that creates a little tuck spot i'll just use this so that creates a little tuck spot in there and then you just adhere one side of the back to keep it to hold it in place and then you've got a tuck spot here or you can just apply a little bit of glue to the edge so that you'll have a tuck spot here and then you'll have another tuck spot here so perfect for junk journaling for your little pages and um, you can create these little circles to make tuck spots or what you can also do uh, let's just say i'll turn this upside down and this is a page you can use this to bookmark a page and have it sitting on the top corner of your page so you know where your page marker is and then you can just have that as a page marker so that's another way to do that so to do that it's just slightly a little bit different to that one on where you place your adhesive so these ones are my smaller circle size i think this one let me see i use the one and a half inch a uh, circle size and all i do is the same thing you fold that in half or you fold both in half and then you're going to bring it together and in this case you want to grab your your little tag or something just to use as a template just so you can get a nice straight corner and I've just done that and then I'm going to just gently take that out and then glue it down Then I'll do the same to the other side. I'll just bring this back just to make sure it's going to sit nicely. Yep. And that's how you can make these little corner tuck spots for your pages really cute and just so easy to make so that's how to make those little easy fold pockets with your circle shapes and then to make these um to make this cute little heart little mini album flip book if that's what um i guess that's what i'd call it all you need to do is you want to cut out your shapes it doesn't have to be a heart shape um, you can use squares you can use you just cut out a square you can make uh, cut out a rectangle to, you can make it exactly the same but I'll use the heart shape uh, I'm not sure what size these ones are this is the heart punch that I have and I just punched out four or you want to cut out four of your shapes and you can layer them as many as you like so you can have as many pages as you want but I'm just going to do four just like this one so you want four of those and you want to cut out three little strips uh, this one here I've cut mine at half an inch by just under an inch so you want three of those so firstly you want to fold all three of these little strips and that's just going to bind your pages together And then you grab your first piece you're going to put glue just along the edge not on the fold side but the opening part and then you grab one and you're going to place your heart just on top leaving a little bit of that folded bit out 
grab your next piece and then just put that at the back and line everything up and then you'll see it should glue, to, um, glue each page together and then you just repeat that with the next strip Place it on the back of that other heart, lining up your little strips together. Grab your next one. And then the last one. So again, you can just keep adding more and more if you want it more uh, build it up more if you like and it's my last one and that's how I put that together oops sorry I just get that one out And that's it and then you open it up and it's one two and the last one it's a bit messy but got glue everywhere but that's how you assemble these cute little uh, little mini flip books and then you just do the same thing place something in the front so that you could have a little uh, closure here so that you've got somewhere to slide your little strip on the back if you wanted to do that you don't have to you can use the paper clip if you wanted to use a clip for example like this if you wanted to use this as your closure you can do that um, so that's just another way to do that so I thought I'd do this as my first uh, of my five day series of uh, your projects that you can make in under five minutes without a scoreboard and uh, hopefully I'll be able to do another one uh, tomorrow and share with you another fun project for um, in my five day series and hopefully I will see you in my live stream if I can get it up and thank you for joining me and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.